on record. Hello, this is Aubrey Gouware with Zender America. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to install our new Comfoflex tubing, our UL rated tubing, to one of our diffuser boxes to show the proper method of doing that. So what we need to do this is uh, we're going to clean up the end, uh, get a nice clean end on this to attach it to the diffuser box. We're going to fasten it tightly with a zip tie. This one's been pre-started just to make it a little bit easier. Slide that on there so it's ready to go. And then we're going to use a UL rated aluminum duct sealing tape to do a final air seal connection on it. So to make this uh, as easy to go on as possible, it's good to start with a clean end. This one's a little bit ragged which makes it hard to slide over the, the lip of the tubing there. It's a pretty tight fit so you need to get it as clean as possible. What I like to do is start right in the middle between two of the threads, like so, with a nice sharp knife. And then you cut towards the thread on one side, cut towards the thread on the other side. So you get it down to just the wire thread in the middle, like so. And then in this case, I'm going to use just the wire cutter and a pair of a Leatherman tool, but any good pair of wire cutters will work. Set that aside. Now we have a nice clean edge to work with. Like I said, this is a little tricky to get on, and you'll probably be working overhead, but you just have to, to work it, get it over that lip, like so. It's a tight fit, but not too bad. And then you want to make sure that you're leaving about a half an inch or so of exposed metal on the side there, so there's plenty of room for the tape to stick nice and tight. A little bit more is even better. So once that's on, you'll feel where the rim is right there. Make sure the zip tie is over that. Make that nice and tight. Cut off the excess of that. And then this, I pre-cut so it was the right length and I'm not having to deal with the whole roll of tape all at once. And this is a little bit the tricky part, but make sure you're getting it as much on that metal as you can. Seals down nice and tight everywhere. So you get really good tight air seal. That's all there is to that. And then you would repeat the same for this. The same method can be used on our TVA box, our three tube TVA box, our single tube CLD box, and on the other end of the tubing on the manifold. Uh, also included in virtually every project that we send out are a set of labeling markers. So we have some in blue, some in red, and you can label at the other end by the manifold uh, as you're roughing things in where this tube goes. Like this could be to a bathroom, could be to a bedroom. Use one color, usually the red for return, the other color blue for supply. So if this is the other end of, in the mechanical room, you just slap the elastic right on there. And now you know exactly where that tube is when you have a bunch of tubes in the mechanical room.